Hitatsugu and Kyrie is two of anything, two blue and one black for a 5-4 legendary creature ogre demon dragon with flying. When it enters the battlefield, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. When H and K dies, exile the top card of your library. Target opponent loses life equal to its mana value. If it's an instant or sorcery card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. You this card is sick, but also very sad. Hitatsugu basically killed Kairi's previous incarnation, Kaiga, so yeah, it's a bit sad, but the card's dope. Doing some brainstorm senses, divining top nonsense on entry to the battlefield, then using that information to dome the opponent with some huge spells, but that's just the surface value. We can go deeper here. The legend rule normally sucks, but we can abuse it big time. Hitatsugu and Kairi can be copied by any number of copy spells, and sure, you're going to have to kill it immediately because of the legend rule, but that entire process is going to trigger every part of this card. You brainstorm, then you cast. As many copies as you want to include, you can. Use the legend rule to your advantage. Play Mirror Mockery, Quasi Duplicate, Cackling Counterpart, Clever Impersonator, Clone, Glass Pool Mimic, Metamorph, any number of copies, then play bigger spells you want to cast for free. And thanks to the end of the battlefield trigger, not only are you going to be able to curate the top of your library, you'll be able to go one card deeper each time, getting you to the good stuff faster. It looks broken, and it looks like it shouldn't work this way at all, but it does, and it's hilarious. Run it as the commander, put it in Yenet Cryptic Sovereign. No matter what you do, I bet you won't be disappointed. The designs in this set, I swear, they're all so fantastic, and so is this one.